Hi, my name is Trevor. Um, I'm born and raised in California, Orange County. Uh, I moved out here with family, migrated out here, out from California to here. Better opportunities with work and construction and stuff, and just caught into the wrong crowd again, and kind of was trying to get away from that whole lifestyle. And I, I did for a couple years, and then got with this girl, and started meeting bad people, and just, and now I'm in my addiction again. And you know, I mean, I don't lose hope, or like I know one day, hopefully, I'll I'll be sober, or or maybe just I don't know. You never know because you're not promised every day, so you never know in your addiction too, especially. Like yesterday, I I would say so. Yesterday, I woke up in a hotel room um, with another couple that was there. Like, there's two beds, and I. I scrounged up money to pay them $20 to sleep in the other bed that was empty. And you get up, you fix, and you know, like you, you want, like myself personally, I like to get up, try to shower, clean up, do the whole ritual like a normal person would, and then it's get something you know, like food in my body if I can, and then, and then do my drug and get high so I could be functional for the rest of the day, you know. It's for me, it's just a normal thing. I'm not trying to break limits or like get this ultimate rush anymore. It's just more like just a coping live through life, you know. Like, so my major drug, like, is meth, and um, heroin is just, like, to me, a recreational thing, or, like, mm -hmm. on a certain day, like, I feel like I need that little um, opiate thing to me, like, and so, and I've only smoked that because I, I tried to bang that stuff, and it's very potent. Like, it was crumbs, like dust, mm -hmm. and, it, and I did, like, there's, like, maybe 10 points in there, and that stuff made me, like, just like that, and I, my, oh, I was just like, and it's not functional, like I can't be productive on it. And that's my deal with, with the opiates. Like, I don't, and I don't like to be vulnerable either, like where I'm like, you know, people are gonna steal from you if you're not out and they're gonna take whatever's worth of value around you. It's, and that, I, I'm not trustworthy enough to do that.